Blackpool Circus School was set up by a group of artists, circus artists, and variety theatre artists, um, so that we could pass on our skills that we'd learnt over the years to the next generation of children. We wanted them to um, have the fun that we had from learning new skills. We teach juggling, unicycles, stilt walking. We also do walking globe, poi, uh, springy stilts, which they call power risers, trapeze, uh, web, tightrope, and acrobatics as well. The full range of circus skills. We've had a lot of help from social enterprises. If you realise that we come from a background of uh, performers rather than business people, uh, they've helped us with the business side. and. They've also uh, given us a grant to get a DVD, promotional DVD then, and um, all our printing materials. So they have been very helpful. The networking and meeting with other groups within the social enterprise um, and helping us to fulfil our dream of getting our own premises. We've been working with the uh, Blackpool Social Enterprise team uh, in particularly working towards developing our social enterprise into a community interest company and giving it that legal status. We've always been a social enterprise, we didn't know it really. The charity has been in existence for 23 years and we've always had charity shops, we've had a trading company which is in addition to the registered charity and the aim of those uh, enterprises was to raise money and then donate it into the charity so we could use that money to provide services for older people and carers in Blackpool. And that's the whole core of social enterprise. What we wanted to do was rehearsal rooms because the, 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 the sort of trigger for it was hearing from a load of bands that uh, the rehearsal rooms in Blackpool and all over Lancashire are uh, pretty poor quality and uh, not good places for young people to be, to be honest. Um, so that made me think rehearsal rooms are needed. The team at uh, the Blackpool Enterprise uh, Centre, the social enterprise team, uh, Tony Carr and Clive and, and Jane and the other people there uh, have been like a constant source of sort of support and help. Uh, their determination to get round everybody in the council that is spending money, all the commissioning people, all the people that are spending money in the community, to get round them and say, hey look, social enterprise is the way to go. We offer uh, community workshops and projects within the community that are creative. Um, so that can be anything in terms of filmmaking, um, theatre, dance, music, art, um, anything across the creative arts spectrum really. When you go um, and seek advice from people, you really do need that support and you need people to be on your side. Um, and there is a strong sense of that at the Enterprise Centre. Um, and the advice that is given is, you know, it's essential to run in the business and the contacts as well. Um, as well, the contact opportunities um, and being put in touch with the right kinds of people within the community as well that could either partner, partner up with you or, or work with you. You find in a lot of small towns when there is talent in the town they might disappear after their training and go to London and seek professions in bigger cities. Um, the idea with Blackpool Fringe Project is to keep that talent here within the community so that hopefully the community benefits. We aim to bring training courses which will benefit the community at grassroots levels in various areas where the public are find themselves in a vulnerable position. For example, two of the training courses that I have actually delivered have been on the awareness of child abuse awareness course and adult abuse awareness. We have a conflict um, resolution management uh, training course as well to help people to relate to one another in the workplace in a more positive way which is helping everybody to enjoy going to work. We have a contract to deliver these courses to uh, plus minus a thousand council workers. All the workers in the Blackpool Council will be going through um, and this is a, a course to increase the um, civic pride of all the local people with knowledge and history of Blackpool, the various attractions that are available and to create a positive spirit amongst everybody which is to go, is, will go a long way to increase the tourist um, satisfaction, the enjoyment that tourists have when they visit Blackpool. We use their hot desk office area 
at the Enterprise Centre, which means that anybody with a brand new startup company doesn't have to pay rent or have a lot of outgoing expenses. You can actually use the hot desk area as your office premises, which is a great help. After having worked for years in a social care setting, to actually the thought of running our own business, yeah, I found that really daunting. But it is worried because Black Crown Enterprises approach, the way that they taught me things, it was sort of bite-sized chunks, bit by bit, be it the financial side, the legal side, um, the marketing and PR side. It, it was it was all, when I was looking at it to start with, it was like a big mountain, but it was more like a series of little hills. What we're doing is to benefit the people of Blackpool. Um, it's my town, I believe in Blackpool, I want the best of the people here. Talking to Tony and getting the benefit of his, his experience as a businessman, really, um, has been invaluable for me because it's, it's made me think, think more for myself and believe more in what I can do. He spotted a potential, if you like, for this service and made me realise it was there and then made me realise I can do it and then taught me how. I think I've got the confidence now to do that and I think a lot of that confidence has come from my association with Blackpool Enterprise. Um, we've benefited from being a social enterprise because it's given us access to support, advice, and um, most importantly, a structure that enables people to know that they can contract us for delivering services and know that it's of a, a good standard. And just because it's third sector, and just because we involve loads of volunteers and help them to get lives back on track, it's not amateur. In fact, in some ways, we're better than anything you can get in the public sector because we do it because we love it. Well, the way in which we've benefited, or I personally have benefited, is that I've been part of this vibrant world of social enterprises and working really hard to make sure that all these excellent all this excellent work doesn't fall on deaf ears and that the representation is there for the businesses. I used to have a business and it never fulfilled me a great deal. Even when it did well, I never, I never, it never fulfilled me. Um, but doing a social enterprise does because it kind of brings the two together. You can do good social kind of work if you like, um, but you're also running a business. We're here not just to make profit, we're not just here to, to do this, we're bringing social enterprise together to make a real difference. It's been a, a very good, positive move, uh, mainly because as a community interest company, we do have the backing of organisations like Blackpool Enterprise. I think it's exciting, I think it's a positive future, I think that's the way forwards um, to, to help and support us address some of the health issues that are facing us here in Blackpool. I think it's a, very, it's a very bright future. I've learned a lot um, and really I've got Blackpool Enterprise to thank for most of that. It's a very exciting social enterprise scene here and I'm, I'm sure the, you know, the council and uh, all the local business leaders would support it. Thank you.